In this video, I'm going to share my personal story. So basically, this is a documentation of my personal story of what I would like to do eventually. So right now here, you see this is one of the inventory POS systems I purchased. And when I look at it eventually, I'm not so satisfied with this. So let me show you exactly why. I'm going to give you a quick tour through the website. Uh, is that? I think it's no at email.com and then here we have password I think it's very restrictive you're very limited all right so we're in here so this looks all quite nice and fancy and we have all of these designs here and then if we we are right now on the dashboard here this is probably if you recognize this design it's a very standard template if I'm not mis mistaken it's the LTM admin design and that's all right However, when I look at this eventually, I say, okay, this is fine. This is from Udemy. I took the Udemy course where they teach you how to do it eventually, work on it. But I noticed there is not really everything that is appealing. There are a few things missing here. So if I go here, for example, here. so let me tell you what I really want to do eventually. I would like to have a POS inventory system for a food or a restaurant. And more specifically, not for any restaurant, but for a restaurant style similar to a Starbucks. So basically, the customer enters the shop, buys their coffee or drink, buys maybe a slice of cake, and then takes a seat. So once they paid, and then the, the cashier or the, the, the barista, in this case, would say your name, here, here your cake, and, and then they hand over the cake, and then the person can sit down, take a seat somewhere, and wherever they want. So it's not an official restaurant where you have table numbers that are becoming important. Absolutely not. I don't want to focus on that complexity. I'm sure that there are, I've seen some wonderful POS systems on that, but I'm not interested in that. The main reason is I'm probably looking for something similar for myself, some, something in that direction. So I would like to have a far more interesting way to do it. So for example, here, when I look at this here, I don't like this here where you can see here custom order or you, you have to put in a customer name and then you have to add up here an item you can select an item well this is quite good but I don't like the selection here because this would assume that you have a mouse meaning that a uh, mouse as a computer mouse where you have to click because if you would do this with your fingers you'll be tapping too much Imagine like this, you have to first tap this, and then you have to select on that. And I would like to have a screen instantly seeing the item, and then when you press on it, bam, it shows, and you show here the total. Because right now what's happening here, it shows a total, which is fine. It shows here paid amount. Uh, I'm not sure if we have to input here paid amount. Here, let's see. Let's say I put 700 in here. All right. Then do, that means uh, I should have a change of, $17.50 and you can select here all these options which is nice and I do believe that we can fine-tune this design if ever and then we say save order and once we save this order oh all right see you have to put in the name not always you would like to do that sometimes you're not interested in it you just want to have the order number it should be automatically for example here if you have not the customer name you should have the or the number of the customer number or the order number so let's say number 12 number 13 at Starbucks they always put in the name and I do realize that on Starbucks, they put the name commonly, not in the system, they write it on the drink, which is very clever because you will not make a mistake. However, I'm sure that they also have it recorded on the receipt as well. So they have that as a record, especially if you buy a cake or something like that. So this is one of my, I guess, my biggest interests. I really love these kind of things. Although this design here, I would say this is a big no, no for me. And just for one reason it's just not practical all right so if you click here now on save order what happens now is all right customer number 8110 over 810 there you are we have this can we print this it does create a nice receipt on printing i am not even certain how big the width is on this and if this would be i have to figure out as well the thermal printer because i want to have a thermal printer we have a system and what is very important here should it be mobile responsive absolutely but the mobile response is not for basically well we can open up this here let's see if this is mobile responsive it is apparently which is nice you can click here if we look at this so you can see here the, the structure everything etc etc if we click on this let's say here we're going to add uh, well we can add a product 
there you are adding a product and i love this this product image thing that's probably we should have people they have the option to put it in but it's not always necessary to be honest if i am a company i might not be so interested in adding an image adding an image can be useful but uh if you're the owner and you have to spend time on making some nice images for your system i can imagine you you have no interest in that all you want is just to have the system running as soon as possible and eventually you might make images but it's not essential because if you have the product name it's fine as well plus this is the plus it goes faster however if people have an image it's easier to remember because they don't have to read it they can see oh i know this if they order french fries you see french fries you press on it bam done you know, those kind of things are wonderful here so let's go here we have the registration yeah this one was uh well, I will skip the registration because it will show you a password here. That's not really, really useful. Um, let's see here the order list. Do they have like an order list for we have? Yes, that's this one here. So I'm going to make this again this. So we can see here, edit the order, delete the order. Let's click on this. What happens here if we say edit order? All right, that's fine. And I have here the edit the category. All right, so if you have the category here, that would mean that we have a product list. And then we could probably do the product list also filter. All right, so it creates your filter option where you can search. However, this might not be so useful. So let's say if I have iPad as a category. Oh, all right, fair enough. I'll be honest with you, this is quite good. Although for a POS for a restaurant, you're not allowed to type. And the reason why is you don't have your keyboard. So I've been thinking about this for a while and I've been working on some parts of it and what I want to do is I want to show you the process basically and I'm not an expert on making a POS system but it's it's one of these weird obsessions I have that I, I love to make and what I'm going to show you here step by step eventually is what I will create because what we need is basically some some nice design here and I already have some design pictures I said wow this is absolutely phenomenal it's absolutely stunning and that might be fun so we're going to explore that one because what i want eventually this is not what i want i want one that is used used immediately for a restaurant and specifically for a restaurant where the cashier we have a cashier where they have to log in should we eventually have one where the customer would basically put in the system and pay might be as well i have to see on that because that's far more advanced because they need to pay me the, like for example if you've seen the mcdonald's new design beautiful where they show it immediately where you can put in a payment and uh, you get a order slip or and your receipt immediately and you go to the to the to the, uh, the desk the order desk of mcdonald's and you show your receipt with the order slip and they will just process everything it's phenomenal system i can guarantee you that because that's probably the future although i would like to have one that is just a bit more down to earth for most people who don't want to have a big screen because having a big screen here costs space costs money as investment and probably if i would have a shop i would probably not have this big screen yet most likely for the coming five to ten years i don't expect that unless that is such a big thing that that might be things however that's right now so i'm going to show you some other things i eventually want so i'm going to pause this for a minute so i found one design on dribble uh, dribble and if you uh, i think it's dribble the website dribble.com and if you've seen their website it's very very creative and this is what i eventually would like to have something similar to this and this is even a video so that's quite nice so when you click on this you can see here what happens uh i'm not able to hide it so let me try this again all right so you can see once you click on it what happens it opens up the menu although this is not 100 percent practical and the reason why is this so when you click on this and i'll just pass it you can see here the following what's happening here you have to add up here and then have to press to order can be useful or maybe this might be uh but maybe not as well so i have to see if we're going to use it like this but what i do like is the following let's go back here you can see here i'm sorry i should make a picture out of it because this part is basically blocking it. But what we do see is here with the options here. We have the options. And this this item here at the back is probably not necessary because it will be just full screen. This will be probably, this is most likely the size of an iPad. So this is absolutely phenomenal. And these are cards, everyone cards. When you click on it, you get these options here. And I'm going to focus on specific drinks. And you can see here let's look with that 
here you have all these options all right you what can you do you can add up uh, lettuce cheese and pickles of course if you are uh, having all these options here might be good might be bad but i'm going to focus on drinks i love the drinks and i think the drinks is probably the biggest one and if you look here right now you have these options foods and drinks then let's see if we can go back here to see if we can have anything i don't see anything else because you see food and drinks but i would not be able to understand here how they have categorized that i want to have a nice category and there will be with the items here eventually we have to put it in as well so there will be a lot of this is i can guarantee it's a lot of work i worked on something like this previously not 100 sa uh, satisfied but i thought well well why not make a documentation out of it It'll be more fun you can see it step by step you can follow along you can even eventually even code along as well but what is important here basically you have a few items you have the login you have the uh, besides the login you will have a admin screen or a dashboard where the, the not only the admin can log in but also the cashier second and then thirdly what we will have is we have this screen here basically this is the order screen with the cashier or anyone who's going to be the cashier of the day or the manager of the day or whatever will be there handling the uh, customer orders and finally we should have like somewhere a message and this is what i like is maybe a a separate screen where we can see the order slips meaning that once we have for example ordered two coffees that it would be also clear that there's a a tab where we can see are the coffees being processed what are the coffees which order etc etc this specification is very similar to this here that if you would have here this you would see maybe uh this let's say this would be in a cappuccino with a double espresso shot and uh, uh, a special milk instead of the regular milk it's whatever milk uh, skimmed milk or almond milk or vegan milk i have no idea all kind of things so we could do something like that and it will be specifically for a specific market on purpose why so i'm going to tell you this is why this is i never reading also a lot of marketing books and eventually i thought okay i'm probably not able to make a very general system and the reason why is that there are some competitors out there they have a beautiful system i can guarantee that they're absolutely stunning and if you're going to fight with those you will have a hard time because you're going to have a competitor and that's not possible so you cannot do that so what we're going to do is we're going to make something simple for a very specific market hoping that if that works we could at least enter that market and maybe from there on we might consider to expand or not at all because if that market is fine we can take that market sure why not help just that specific type of shop it could be a coffee shop where you have all these options for coffee uh, espresso everything what we can imagine for that specific market that's what we're going to do and that's really the fun part so this is basically a short documentation of what's in my mind and then also it's marketing very simple is the more specific you are the more easier it is to market to that specific customer the more general you are the harder it is to market to that specific customer if you want to explore that one i would say read a book this is a very interesting book it's uh, yeah if i'm not mistaken it's a branding or positioning from l and laura reese very interesting to to read as well all right so that's that's my documentation for today or for now then we're going to start working on it thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoy it and if you enjoy this video you probably will enjoy this one as well and if you're interested in chart.js check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.